Hello Capricorn, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your general reading and we will be seeing what is your person on your mind thinking, feeling about you, their next move, most probable outcome or whether someone new is coming into your life and how it's going to roll out. This is going to be as usual a general reading guys. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. Capricorn, for accurate personal readings, wiper spells and premium charge crystals, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email and... My Instagram account name is inigma.in where you have all the details um, and you can connect with me directly. So don't forget to follow me there and all the details are given down below in the description box. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign in Capricorn plus cross watches. Let's see the messages for you. Now, I will be seeing whoever is on your mind, this person's current feelings for you. Oh, wow. Uh, King of Pentacles, you're dealing with someone that definitely is wealthy. Even if you feel like they're not making that much, but you might be mistaken. This person definitely has a lot of money. They are rich, they're successful, they're humble, they're kind. But this person is thinking that they're trying way too hard. They feel like you're too closed off. They feel like you're guarded. They feel like you're, you might be interested, but you just don't want to open up. They feel like you're too closed off, like you're not opening up somewhere. Something bothers you. They have a feeling that you've been hurt in the past. That is why you're not opening up. They're trying their best to help you come out of your, you know, um, how do I say it? Like conscious, you might be conscious. They want to make you feel comfortable. They're doing their best. They're trying their heavy, like, I feel like they're, they're trying their level best. Like they're trying too hard. To help you come out of your cocoon. Somewhere I feel like you have this thing going on where you don't trust people. That's how they see, okay? Now let us see what happened with uh, you. They could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. They're very passionate. Eight of Cups, you walked away from a situation. Maybe it was this person you walked away from when you sensed that there was not enough love here. You had felt extremely disappointed with their actions. Or yes, it was someone else. I feel like in the past, Capricorn, you uh, were dealing with someone that was too closed off, toxic, and never willing to give their heart. So you got disappointed, heavily disappointed, heartbroken, and you left the situation feeling like you can never fall in love again, you can never have love again. Somewhere the trust got broken, okay? So you were dealing with a Libra Gemini Aquarius, that Libra Gemini Aquarius kept on trying, or maybe any other sign, they kept on trying, but you finally gave up because you didn't feel like it was coming through you know, honesty. So somewhere I feel your, your trust in love has kind of, you know, uh, now doubtful. I'm not saying broken, but yes, there is a doubt. So you have that feeling going on. How do this person on your mind feels about you? They want to take it slow because they're not sure whether they want to be with you in the long term basis or they want to just see how it goes. Right now, this person is uh, still open to other options because they're unsure whether you do want this person um, or you are uh, going to stay like this. So they're going to check on how your actions are going to be, how your you know, behavior towards this person going to be. If you're going to stay closed off, expecting every time for this person to make a move, then they will walk away. But if you show some honest interest in them and also make certain efforts towards them, then they will definitely make efforts towards you. So right now, they're just checking whether you are going to uh, reciprocate because there is attraction, but it hasn't yet turned into something solid. But this is someone that is a good catch. If they realize that you are in love, if they realize that you are interested, uh, then they will definitely make forward efforts towards you, forward movements towards you, and they'll ask for commitment as well. The fool over here, this person is not ready to commit right now, but they definitely are looking for the perfect match for themselves. So this person is a good catch. And I feel like they have no problem being alone, being without a person in their life because they're already doing really well and they're not worried about financial issues. They are pretty settled in life. Okay, so right now they're just wanting to take it uh, forward to see whether this is going to work out or not. They just want to see, okay. They are not thinking about commitment over here yet. But yes, this person is someone that if you give your equal attention and respect to, then they will commit to you. So it depends upon you. Now, what is your feeling towards this person? What do you feel about this person? Wow, 
you have got an attractor to them. I feel like you're thinking about this person a lot and you're very excited to see what next move they will be making. It's more about you think that all the work has to be done from the other side. Okay, you're also shy, okay, and hesitant because uh, some of you are having this feeling like maybe this person is talking to other people as well. Then why should I make it obvious that I'm interested? So you have this doubt that maybe this person just wants to take it casually. So maybe I am i don't want to put too many efforts and make them feel like I'm desperate or something. But deep inside of you, you do think about this person a lot. So what is their next move going to be? This person's next move towards you, Capricorn. page of pentacles i feel like right now they are very excited or they were very excited but now they have become a little cautious they're trying to control their horses they have a lot of desire they have a lot of passion towards you they're very excited to know you but they've started to slow down a little bit because somewhere they have started having this uh a feeling or insecurity that you're hiding something that is why you're so closed off maybe there's something that they need to know and that is why they should slow down they should not rush but i'm definitely seeing them reaching out trying their best to you know um attract you chasing you so that you uh you, you don't go away anywhere but yes uh, this person will also slow down their pace because they have started to observe you they have started to know more about you Okay, from random ways like through your past social media or through social media in general or common friends. This person is trying to observe more about you. But there is a lot of passion. There, there is a lot of passion. Okay, they want to talk. But right now they're not in this energy where they would think that, okay, I want a commitment. Because you have created a seed of doubt in this person's head that something is not right. And they want to know what is that. So I'm seeing now they've slowed down, but they're still consistent with you. And I feel like they're observing you. Even if you, they've slowed down, they still think about you. There's strong feelings. They are controlling their horses, but they're very excited. And they keep stalking you as well. And they want to help you as well, I'm seeing. This is someone that is a genuine and simple person, down-to-earth person. That is going to be their next move. Now still, if they want to slow down, then the Knight of Wands. Please clarify the Knight of Wands. Yes, this person is, let me see, let me sh shuffle them again. Please clarify the Knight of Wands energy. Yes, see, the strong feelings, strong horses. I feel like this person has solid crush over you. They are physically attracted towards you and they're getting overboard, but they're trying to control themselves by slowing their pace and not showing you that they're desperate for you. What, what is this page of swords and the page of pentacles? Please clarify this. Okay. Uh, they want to slow down with making a proposal. When it comes to making a commitment or putting a ring on you or settling down, they're not sure yet. They're not sure of the commitment, but they're very sure of the fact that they have strong, passionate desire for you, okay? And don't miss out on this person. They definitely are going to change your life, okay? This is someone that is definitely rich, definitely successful and is sorted, that is very important, sorted in life person. They're not having any kind of old uh, drama going on in their life. They're completely free. And they are someone that you should not skip on just because you're dealing with someone else or just because you're in that crappy old mindset, come out of it. So they want to slow down when it comes to commitment, but they're very interested in you. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So most probable outcome, guys. Let me see for Capricorn. Most probable outcome with this person. Ooh, I feel like in the coming time, in eight days or eight weeks max, this person is going to increase their uh, movement towards you. They'll come with a rushing energy. They'll come with the speed. And when they come with the speed, it will make you conscious. It will make you feel like you're not good enough. It will make you create self-doubt in you. It will make you feel underconfident. I don't know why, but there's a lot of insecurity on your part. And this person is going to, you know, overwhelm you with such passion and desperation that they're coming towards you. Not in a negative way, but this person is very positive. I feel like they are, they'll try to control their horses, but not... After eight days or eight weeks, they will come towards you straightforward, telling you that, hey, I'm very, very interested in you. 
but you still come off as closed off, unsure. You have trust issues, I feel. Let me see the nine of wands. Why this nine of wands? Why are you in this nine of wands energy? The reason is you don't you're not having time to process what is happening and this is this is happening so fast that you're getting overwhelmed you know that this person definitely has a crush on you and they're not giving you time they're not giving you space somewhere you feel like you're not getting that time to process whether this is right or this is wrong whether this is something you should pursue or you should wait or you should drop so you're not getting that time to process. So this is suffocating, not really suffocating. This is overwhelming you. And I'm also seeing you have this feeling like this person is too over the top. Maybe I'm not in their league. Maybe I'm not in their standard. So somewhere there is an energy where you don't feel like confident enough. So if you want to feel confident, you can get an energy circle from me. You can get any other remedy from me and 100% you'll see the change. Okay. So you can get that if this is happening with you. So let us see what most probable outcome is going to be. I'm definitely seeing there is a strong energy of them coming towards you. They're still going to be very, very interested if you stop talking to them. Still, they're going to show a lot of interest in you. Most probable outcome. There's going to be a partial interference of your ex. And that can distract you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing there's a possibility of someone from the past trying to come back that can create this, you know, blockage between you and this person. The outcome can be changed, can be uh, become negative because of an ex interfering somehow in your life. I don't know why you are entertain, entertaining your ex when you're still, de when you're already dealing with someone absolutely perfect for you. So the only reason that can spoil the whole thing is you. So you have to be careful, be aware, be worried when how you have to move forward, be smart, be mature. That is very important here. So the outcome can be changed if you change this thing that I told you about. Okay, Stop entertaining the people that are already left your life. So let's see whether there's someone new that's coming in that you're going to be with. Either there's someone else. If I'm definitely seeing more options coming into your life. Um, could be a Gemini coming in. All right. And I'm seeing for the next six months, you will date some new people around as well. So it depends whether you want to stick to this person or you want to open yourself to other options. But I'm definitely seeing whoever is coming next in your life, they're all going to be wealthy. Only the new people that are coming in, new love offers that are coming in, they're going to be wealthy. Chances are it is up to you who you want to choose, but don't go for any X. That is something that I'll suggest to you. I know I crossed the line with you. Okay. Yeah, there's a possibility that an X is trying to win you back and that can create a major blockage between something happening between you and this new person. So be very careful. Capricorn, what else? There you go. This person is a gift. I'm telling you, this person is a gift in your life. I was telling you about this wealthy person, male or female. And if you are a male watching this, you're a man watching this, then you're going to be extremely rich if you're not yet. But I'm seeing this is a gift in your life. This person will bring in a lot of abundance in your life. And I feel like they are also someone that will give you something expensive. Some An expensive gift is coming. Okay. Uh, but... There is a need for you to feel confident around this person. Somewhere I feel like you're just not trusting this is going to turn into something long term. So you are, you might go into your own cocoon. Again and again, you do have this tendency to go back to your cocoon. Don't do that. So I'm seeing it requires efforts from both the ends. This person is making efforts up to you. This is the one for you. Could be, depends upon whether you're taking this or not. There is intense attraction. Like how do I say I'm speechless, I'm lost of words because the attraction is so intense that I just am no, no one to say. I'm no one to interfere. A strong, solid attraction between you guys. Gratitude. So when this person does something new or something good for you that makes you smile, please show this person that yes, you're happy, that you're thankful. Because they will do certain things that will make you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Sometimes you'll have this feeling like, no, I don't deserve, you know, stop thinking in that direction. Some of you have their birthdays adding up to seven. 
there is a need for you also to reach out to this person why every time this person reaches out why not you also so keep it balanced if you are the one that always keeps reaching out then they need to reach out if there is no balance there is no love okay simple as that some of you dealing with a scorpio it's time for you to take some rest because you're being loaded with a lot of messages and you're so confused that you're not able to make a proper decision so if you really want to make a proper decision what is right what is wrong it is important for you to take gaps nap rest well so that you can feel more relaxed and right decisions will come out Okay, this person is like a dream come true. Let me tell you that. This is a treasure that you might lose because of your, you know, insecurity. So work on that, guys. If you want a remedy, you can get it from me, but don't lose this treasure. It's very important. This person is definitely a dream come true. They're a treasure. Don't treat them like a trash. That's it. That's it. All you have to do is stop treating them like a trash. Okay. Please. There you go. This person is someone that will never force you for things. They really want to give you that freedom to decide. Otherwise, they will leave. And your path is clear. So you don't have to try and, you know, um, you know, you don't have to try change things or fix things or expect something from the past to come back. Whatever is there, it will happen. And you're free to follow your own path. Like what is bothering you? What is stopping you? Something definitely is uh, not right with you, Capricorn. Write down, I'm confident, I believe in myself. Get confidence bracelet, energize by me if you can. Yes, you're free. There's no one that's stopping. Your path is clear, but you're still having this thought process in your mind. Your mind is acting like a blockage, actually. Accept that you're free, be thankful. I feel like this relationship is going to heal you. And you're in this path where you're already healing. Some of you are healers yourself or your person is. But I'm definitely seeing that if your profession is into healing, that could be your life purpose. That is what they're saying. And uh, other than that, I'm seeing that this person will definitely come and heal you from within. It's time for you to literally feel for yourself, do things for yourself. It's time that you should... Keep yourself as a priority instead of thinking about what other people are going to feel or think. Okay. Now, let me see what's going on with your life right now. Really important to know. Yes. A lot of people are focusing on what is going on in your life. Try to keep it as private as you can because the more you share about your life, the more hurt you will be uh, facing. And there's also a probability of someone from the past trying to come back. Okay. And asking you for marriage that might confuse you. So be with the new person, someone that is recent, not from like months back or stuff like that. So I feel like when it comes to your money, definitely you will have a lot of opportunities for you to make money, but also take some time out to do some self-work, self-analysis when it comes to your profession, when it comes to skill. Don't ignore your work. And uh, the more you focus on work and your life purpose, the more money you make and you will be traveling a lot and seeing a lot of traveling taking place. New opportunities are coming in. Okay. All right. One last piece of advice for my Capricorn. How are you feeling? Write down in the comment section. Let me know what is going on with you. Some parts may be specific to someone. Okay. Let me see Capricorn. Advice. Okay. So we have multifaceted. You may not know you have a lot of qualities. Sometimes... When you're too intelligent, it bothers you. Your brain bothers you. This is what is happening. If you're thinking too much, if you're too worried, if you're too insecure, it's because there's a hidden talent that is urging to come out. So you will also come across your life purpose. You'll also be in tune with your inner needs. So spend time doing hermit right now. Spend time alone going through a spiritual awakening. That's very, very important. Because you have certain talents that are undiscovered that you will discover about yourself in the real. So some of you could be healers that will come out in the open. You'll work on that. So either ways, I'm seeing the journey is super good. You don't have to worry about future. You don't have to worry about present. Just go with the flow. That's it. So this is your recap on. I hope you've literally enjoyed it just like how I did. And do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment to I Enigma. And also... 
if you want to go for free question and answers like one question free then come on instagram today live okay and check out my instagram feed where or a uh, story where you know what time it's going to be 10 p.m ist okay i'll see you there bye take care